This week on 3D Printed Soup... Oh god, water's going everywhere. I've forgotten the lens. That's right after this. Hello fellow makers and welcome back to 3D Printed Soup. We've all done this. You guys have a nice cup of hot coffee, you got your push chair in one hand, or you got your shopping trolley, or you got your bicycle, and you chuck it into one of these. Yep, it is your standard beverage cup holder. It's got springy bits in here to help grip. Demonstration. Goes in the top, you put your lid on the top there, and you cycle off, and it bounces around, and the liquid jumps up, and even if you've got a cap on the top, it jumps out the spout, it bubbles, it goes all over the place. It's physics, it's inevitable. Why does it do this? It's because any vibration or tilt you put onto your bike or your push chair, whatever, goes straight onto the static cup, which is rigidly held, and of course it moves and vibrates exactly the same, transfers that into the liquid, and the liquid jumps up and reacts to it. However, surely there's somebody who's 3D printed a way of actually making this a bit more dynamic and a bit more, I don't know, stable? Well, turns out, yes, there is. I found this on Thingiverse. It's sort of a, a gimbal slash gyroscope. And as you're going along, this has actually got 300 milliliters of water in it, and I'm shaking it around here, and I'm not getting any water on me, I'm not getting splashed, because it's on two concentric rings, which have hinges on them. So if I go for a bump, it moves, it shifts around, and it keeps the liquid at the same level as the horizon. Ooh, clever you say. And this is 3D printed, so very, very impressed. Links in the description below as always. However, they sell thousands of these a year. Is there really that much difference between a static cup holder and a cool 3D printed gyro cup? There's only one way to find out. That's a field test. And as requested by my Patreon, Rachel, she suggested that I get my ass out of my seat and actually go out and do some testing in the field. So I found a field. I found my daughter's push chair, attached this and this to it, and ran around like a lunatic, splashing water and coffee all over the place. But which one turned out better? This or this? There's only one way to find out. Let's go into the field. As this is a prototype design and it's going to be used for a field test, I have stuck this on standard print. So uh, it's not rough, but it's not um, a beautifully fine print. Uh, it's going to be functional more than pretty. Uh, once I've worked out whether or not this actually functions better than a normal standard cup holder, I'll print myself up a really nice one. But at the moment, this is just purely a test print. Um, going to do a bit of a field test with it and see how it holds up against uh, sort of an um, industry standard one for uh, keeping beverages from spilling while you're running around the place with a push chair or on a bicycle. The pieces are nice big and chunky and they just pop straight off the uh, print bed so there's nothing to worry about there. These also have to spin freely so we're going to sand it all down and make sure that uh, all the pieces fit but they're not uh, they don't grip they are nice and free spinning with it free of the support filament we're going to try and assemble this thing so we just pop in the internal ring and then there's another ring on here that clips in which is for the cap holder and it makes this sort of really awesome almost sort of like planetarium kind of uh, gimbal slash gyroscope now we're going to attach the uh, bracket to the back. Uh, bracket comes with fittings, so you can just clip it straight onto your handlebars or onto a post or whatever. And you just use a uh, standard screw to attach it. Right, so this is my daughter's little trike. I'm going to steal this for my uh, test. So just attach the normal screws and go straight through onto the handlebars. Tighten up the nuts. 
I have attached a standard drinks holder from uh, the buggy which I own. Um, I've pretty much taped it and uh, elastic banded it to make sure that it um, stays nice, stable and strong. And it's the same kind of rigidity as the uh, 3D printed gimbal so that there's a, a fair test. There we go. Nice and strong and yeah, they're not going anywhere. Okay, with the cup holders in place, Measure myself off 300 cent milliliters, centiliters, milliliters of water, add them to the cup, and let's get going. Right, okay, here we have our first major splash. Actually, it splashed so badly it's actually hit the camera lens. And yeah, there's quite a bit of water coming up the top of the 3D gimbal, but not as much as I thought there would be. So I'm not quite sure how it's going to affect things. Okay, so I've measured just under 300 centiliters. So that ain't bad. So let's top it up again and attach it to the regular gimbal. And let's see how this goes. Already we started to get a lot of water splashing here. <laughs> We've already got it on the lens. And yeah, as you can see, the cup's almost half empty already. This is exactly the same course I took the uh, 3D printed gimbal on. I'm taking the same corners, about the same speed. And yeah, there is a lot of water coming out of this thing. Oh, around the slalom. And yeah, there is just globules of water splaying out the top. So uh, yeah, I think we might have a win. I might, I might be a little bit uh, preemptive here, but I think we might have a win. For the 3D printed cup holder, I'm pouring this into the uh, measuring thing. Yeah, we got under 50 millilitres there. That is way, way lower than the two sort of 260 for the 3D printed one. So yeah, win for the 3D printed gimbal. Good work. So yes, after completing that slightly haphazard test, I think it's proof that this 3D printed gimbal slash gyro really, really does outstrip the normal clip-on static beverage cup holders. It keeps your beverage nice and stable in there, so there's no foam, there's no spillage, and you don't get yourself covered in coffee or water. Yeah, and you also put it at any size you want to, so you fit any, pretty much any standard cup. Just need to measure it and increase the size accordingly through your slicer or splicer. Slicer? Slicer. I use Cura, but other ones are available. In order to keep the joints smooth, I have a bit of GT85, or you can probably use WD40, or any other kind of lubricant, just to keep the action nice and smooth, because plastic on plastic does eventually wear through, whereas if you put a bit of lubricant on there, it will stay nice and smooth for longer. And yeah, I love the action on this, it's absolutely fantastic. Anything that I can print that has a mechanical component to it always makes me happy, and it's a nice change from HeroQuest prints. So yeah, thank you very much for watching 3D Printed Soup. Any comments you got, leave them below and I'll get back to you when I can. Any suggestions you've got, jump on the Patreon, make a suggestion, and we'll do prints of everything we possibly can. Thanks so much for watching. Stay happy, stay safe. Keep printing.